A plant, I think, would have maybe 10 units of consciousness. It, it analyzes sunlight, water, temperature. That's the consciousness of a plant. Then we go to maybe uh, an alligator. An alligator may have, I think, uh, several hundred units of consciousness because they have to find the prey. They have to have a three-dimensional representation of reality. And the back of the brain, the back of the brain is that reptilian brain. And as we evolved from the reptilian brain, the brain went forward to become the monkey brain. And the monkey brain is the brain of, of social networks. That is hierarchies. Who's your friend? Who's your enemy? Who, who's your ally? That I think is the monkey brain, which is the center of the brain. Then the big question is what are we on this chart? All the way starting from a thermostat, going up to a plant, going up to an alligator, going up to a monkey. <coughs> Where are we on this consciousness scale? I think our consciousness is the prefrontal cortex. What am I going to do tomorrow? What the hell am I doing here, right? You're thinking about the future, okay? So the prefrontal cortex, the front part of the brain, is the human brain, the brain that sees the future. Now let's do an experiment to prove my theory. Go home tonight and talk to your dog and teach your dog the meaning of tomorrow. Right. Yeah. You can't do it. You cannot teach animals the meaning of tomorrow, okay? We, on the other hand, live in tomorrow. We're constantly thinking about what am I going to do today? What am I going to do tomorrow? What the hell am I doing here today? This is what we consciously think about. And so that's why I think that that's the human consciousness which separates us from animal consciousness, which talks about space and time, I mean space. But our brain talks about time. It's a time machine.